What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today we've got kind of a fun one for you. We're gonna learn to build the classic game Pong, the game that pretty much started modern video games. We're gonna learn to recreate that in Python using Pygame. Game over. Okay, so uh, second thing I think we should do is add some restart text. So I will call that restart text, make the make the text say press to restart. And let's put that same X, we'll probably want to scooch it back since there's more text here, but let's put it uh, 100 lower on the screen. Let's put it 230. And we also are going to want to drop, we'll get to this after we check and make sure it looks okay. Um, but we're also going to want to draw a rectangle. Ooh, game over. Ah, because we are just drawing game over text in two places. It's uh, important if you're going to copy paste stuff like that to um, to actually run it like I just did and, and check uh, because you can't just assume everything you drew looks good. And like you can see here, I'm going to scoot it to the right a little bit and I'm going to scoot it up a little bit. Um, you can't always really envision what something's going to look like until you just run it. So, okay. Uh, we also want to draw a rectangle, which I'll call, I'll just call it restart button because you can't use, um, like a click collide, uh, event. You can't do collision with text for some reason you need a rectangle. So, um, I'm going to make a rectangle that is just a pie game dot draw dot rect and we're going to put it right at the um, restart text and we're going to just make it a black rectangle that gets drawn behind the text but this way there will be something to check whether or not the person is clicked on okay so pygame dot draw rect and then um, we want to put on the screen we want it to be black and we want it to be at 7150 so again we're giving it the exact same coordinates as the text and then that block of text is probably a hundred long and um, let's just go ahead and say that it's 20 tall um, but the idea is if you're clicking anywhere in uh, the rectangle area that says press to restart we can assume you want to restart because the X out of the game button is way in the top right uh, okay, so we need a new event type now because this is the first time the players need to click. So we want to say if event.type is equal to pygame, and then uh, this is going to be mouse button down. We'll just do when you click down on it. Um, some people would do click up, and that's when you release the mouse click, but that, hey, user preference. So now let's do if uh, I think we called it restart button. And then, uh, so restart button dot collide point, and we can do a nice thing here, which is event dot position. So uh, the click in this case has an X and Y coordinate, and that's considered the position of the event. And uh, that is what we're checking here. And so we are saying, all right, well, they've clicked the restart button, so what do we want to do? Well, the most obvious thing is we want game over to be equal to false because they just um, restarted it but in that scenario I actually think that what we should do is make game over equal to false to even uh, or true to even click because there's no reason to be clicking on anything if game over is not true but then you also got to think about pretty much everything we did to initialize this game um, all of this stuff should come back into play right like if speed changed if direction changed if anything changed we want to get reset when you hit restart so um, you could create a little function to do that I'm just gonna put it all under the button again and let's go ahead and see if uh, this is gonna last restart now press to restart okay so that's cool it moved but um, but game over. Oh, it's because it's a double equal sign. Alrighty, let's try that again.
All right. So that's pretty sweet. Um, we just keep getting uh, closer and closer to like a full functioning game. This is getting uh, pretty fun. I think the next step to do will be let's go ahead and create some score tracking. So uh, score is obviously equal to zero when the game starts and score is going to score is going to also get reset to zero when we hit the restart button and then uh, I think in check collisions right we already have a we already have a function that checks the uh, it whether or not something has collided and that's also when we want the score to update so this is pretty cool we'll um, just kind of leech off of that function and add some score calculations onto it and we just need to make sure where we call that function, which was, that was check game over. There was ball X direction. Yeah, okay. And then score. And then we also need to pass it in. Um, but then we should draw that onto the screen. So let's go to where we draw our rectangles and everything. And let's steal this two lines where we uh, define font and everything. And let's just call this score text, right? Score. And for the text, let's uh, say score colon. And then um, let's add string str conversion of the score. You could use an F string if you want. Um, that's just formatting everything inside of it to be a string that's kind of a shortcut. You can do that if you want. Um, but if you're doing stuff like that, you know plenty about Python. You don't need to be here at all. So <laughs> let's go ahead and see how that looks. Just kind of slapping it on the screen here. Score. Oh, we got three there and we got seven there. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at why that's updating by three or four. If ball collides with the player ball x direction equals one why don't we say and and ball x direction is equal to negative one meaning it was moving to the left and then here we'll say and it equals positive one and this hopefully will act kind of like a one shot and now that code will only happen once so that appears to be doing it um, I'm guessing just like the computer is able to scan so many times that it kind of viewed like two or three different scans um, where the ball was still colliding with the player even though it was changing direction um, so it's just a symptom of computers being very fast sometimes you want to build in a little extra check that will uh, keep track of things like that. Okay.